Okay, part two. So, like I said before, sea salt, that's great. And you know what I found? It's stuff that's supposedly pre-washed. I have taken it, put it in this solution of lemon, salt, fresh water, let it soak for 15 minutes, take it out and drained. There's still dirt in it. It's still dirty. So I recommend washing and scrubbing everything. Now my sister peels all her carrots before she juices them. I just get, I have a brush, vegetable brush, and I just scrub, 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 scrub the fire out of all my, my carrots. Even after I've soaked stuff like an apple, I will scrub the fire out of that thing. And you know, there's a lot of mixed reviews on the apple seeds, you know, they contain arsenic, and that can be bad for you, you should always core your apples. What I have noticed, and now that I have been taking the stuff from the back of my juicers and all the leftovers and throwing in a compost pile, the seeds, a lot of the seeds are in there. They may have little nicks on them, but you know, I'm not drinking any seeds. So, Another important part of detoxing, I think, is what you're putting on your skin and hair when you take a shower also. You know, your skin is your largest organ, and you've got to take care of it. So look into some all-natural soaps. Look into some all-natural shampoos. Uh, all-natural deodorants. Tom's is a great brand. Uh, I've been using this for about 20 days now. And, yeah, if I have a real rough day, I might stink. But you know what? Once we get detox, I'm not going to need deodorant anyways. Toothpaste. Tom's also, natural, fluoride-free, something else you should think of. And also, brush your teeth two to three, four times a day. Time you can remember, brush your teeth. Um, I picked up, I was at the health food center the other day, some uh, Jason's uh, hair gel that's supposed to be all natural. So, I paid ten bucks for it, it better be all. So, that's something important. And also, don't forget the floss. Even though you're not eating anything, nothing's getting in your teeth, don't forget the floss. So, those are some of my juices. Uh, the Super Smoothie, the Carrots, uh, the Mean Green. Oh, I've been having the Mean Green for the last five days just because I've cut out my Super Smoothie for a while. And we're doing a lot of the, uh, a lot of the green juice. But some of the things I like to do a little different is I despise celery with a passion. So I do kale, spinach, or mustard greens, the cucumber, the two apples, the ginger, and the lemon. I also sometimes, like tonight, what I made for us, and the reason I keep saying us, I'm taking mom and dad more and more juices Mom is not getting to have her salads anymore. She's going all 100% juice. She's been on it for about four days now. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. But tonight we had some dandelion greens, uh, kale, turnip greens, parsley, four carrots, and an apple. Now I know that sounds gross, but it was really good. It was really sweet. So... These monster carrots are just really sweet. And you know what? People say you're not getting enough stuff. You're not getting enough fiber. You're not getting enough protein. Look up one cup of carrots. One cup of carrots is 1.7 grams of protein. The vitamin A is off the chart. All the other things. One thing I've been noticing, and the girl that cut my hair said the other day, she said here in front, you know, in here, since I've seen her last, I have baby hairs growing in here. And she says, it seems like my widow's peak is coming down more. So, I don't want that. But she said, my hair is definitely growing back right here. She can tell it. She can see it. She's like, yeah, your hair looks so much better than it did the last time you came in. And, you know, my parents both, reason, one of the reasons we're doing so much carrots, and, and this may sound cliche because everybody says carrots are good for your eyes, but they really are. They also are very good for cardiovascular disease too. Uh, a study done in the Netherlands, if you did 
did a Google search on health benefits of uh, carrots uh, in the Netherlands. They did a study on some people and found that people ate 25% more carrots in their diet than people that didn't. Lowered their chances by like 25% or more, and people that added more carrots to the diet lowered more of their chances. But we have a lot of eye issues, we have a lot of cardiovascular disease issues too. So I checked my blood pressure today. It was 96 over 65. So I did ask the pharmacist that okay, and he's like, yeah, I don't want to get that lower top number much lower, but no, that's just he's like, your blood pressure? I'm like, yeah, my blood pressure. So um Another thing I've noticed with the carrots is when I'm looking at stuff far away uh, with my contacts in it, because I do wear contacts, it's hard to focus on things. Like, if you ever go to the doctor and you go to the eye doctor and you're wearing glasses forever and your eyes are getting worse and you have to get a new pair of glasses, you keep those old pair and you can't find your new pair and you put on your old pair and you you know, things are kind of you can't really see things and they're kind of not there or they're not it's not as focused as it was with your new glasses on that's kind of what I'm having issues with it's like things are out of focus but when I take my contacts out I'm noticing like when I lay in bed at night I don't need my glasses to see the TV I can see it as clear as day so at the end of this I'm gonna go to the eye doctor and get because I do have I do know what my contact prescription is and I've got a caught box of contacts saved that way I can find out what my prescription is now and compare that and see hey is this better or worse and another thing about my eyes and a lot of people aren't believing me about this my eyes are getting lighter every day I look in the mirror my eyes are going from a dark dark brown to like this golden brown with like flakes of green in it, like they're changing to a hazel color. I know that may be hard to believe for some people. I've only been juicing for 57 days now, but I know my eyes. My eyes used to almost be black. Call my ex-wife and ask her. <laughs> so. But anyways, that's some of my juices that I like to do. You know, I can't imagine drinking a gallon, 128 ounces of mean green every single day. I mean, that would just, I'd vomit. That's disgusting. And to be honest with you, let's go down what I've drank today. Today, oh, another one I forgot to mention. Write this one down. Five to six carrots and a third of a cantaloupe. It has to be organic. Organic cantaloupe, skin and all. That is a really good juice, it's really good for weight loss, and it's really good for anti-aging also. Um, but I had 20 ounces of that. I had a mean green, and it was 16 ounces. I had another mean green, that was 16 ounces. And then tonight, I had 10 ounces. That's like 60 ounces, so I'm not doing a full gallon. You know, I try to get in 100 ounces a day, but I'm not doing a gallon of juices. My fingernails are not falling out. I really would hate to have to show you the, uh, the Shrek toes I've got going on right now because I really need to trim my toenails. And But my toenails are getting really long because I almost scratched somebody with them the other day. Like, you're not getting enough protein. One of the first signs of protein loss is your hair, your nails start looking like crap. My nails are unbelievable now. Um, they grow really fast, and oh, another thing I've noticed during the juice fast, I've quit biting my nails because I feel so good. It's just crazy how you feel. It's like the movie Phenomenon. It's like every day, it's like something else is waking up. Something else is waking up. It's like I can't sit still. I have gone all day. It is 9.49, and I haven't stopped yet. As soon as I get done with this, I'm going to put all this stuff away and go start laundry. So, I mean, it's it's the focus. It's like you got, it's it's insane. If you hit me up on Facebook, ask April. April's one of my 
uh, people who have been following me and she did a juice fast, she hits the one that had ADD and she's got unbelievable focus now. And she's doing great, she's going all raw, going all raw vegan. The only problem is she can't get the rest of her family on board. But you know what? They'll come around April. They will come around. Make them watch Forks Over Knives. Forks Over Knives, I think, is more compelling than Sick, Fat, and Nelly Dead, A Beautiful Truth, or Food Matters. Which, all three of those are good ones. But, I like facts. That's why I say look at the nutritional values of these things. So, another big secret, guys. I am working hard on developing a perfect juice that tastes good, it's not bitter to drink, it's fun to drink, it has everything in it. So that's what I'm looking for, something that's simple and easy that's kind of got it all in it. But those are some of the examples of the variety that I was talking about in the juices. And you know what, well, once or twice a week I like to get six or seven oranges, peel them, leave as much of that white stuff on, and I juice those suckers for a nice big boost of vitamin C. Those things, I mean, they're so awesome. You should not be worried about calories. You should not be worried about sugar. These things are all natural. They're going straight into your system. They're, you know, it's pre-digested food. It's so good for you. I feel amazing. I've never, ever, ever, ever felt this good in my life. Ever. That's, that's, that's not a placebo. That's not some e. I've never felt this good in my life. Never. Not when I was 18, not when I was 16, not when I was 12. I've had no ibuprofen in 57 days. I've had no allergy medicine. Allergies have been bugging me the last couple of days just because there's so much crap in the air in Oklahoma right now. But, guys, this, this is truly amazing. I feel like I'm sitting on a gold mine or a big secret. I just want the whole world to know. But anyways, I'll let you guys go. Brenda wants to know what I'm doing for exercise. Again, I've only exercised maybe 20, 21 days out of 57, but I will make a exercise video tomorrow or the next day. So, peace guys.